In this video, I want to show you how to solve simple linear equation. So let us start by writing one simple linear equation. Okay, so I want to discuss a method called covering covering up method. So let me write an example. Say x minus phi is equal to say 11. Okay, so here yeah, you're asking the question, what take away phi is equal to 11? So I what I do is I cover this up and yeah, and uh, this can be seen. So, oops. So let me. Okay. So here yeah, you can see. You can cover this. So you're asking the question x take away phi or what take away phi. So if you want to change this question, you're asking the question what take away phi is equal to 11. So you should know. Well, this is 16 take away phi gives you 11 okay so you can write uh, 11 year so that means x is equal to 11 just like that okay so this is your first equation so let me take a next equation okay uh, uh, say 5x plus 3 is equal to 28 Okay, so first the same strategy, cover this up. And here you're asking the question, what, what plus 3 gives you 28? So, well, you should know 25 plus 3 is 28. 25 plus 3 is 28. So, this 5x can be written as this 5x becomes so you can say this is 25 plus 3 is 28 so 5x is equal to 25 okay now you're asking the question phi times what gives you 25 so well phi times phi is 25 5 times 5 is 25 so this should be phi that means your x is phi and it's always a good habit to check by putting back your answer back in the equation. So yeah, this means, you should also understand what this means. This means, this is phi times a number plus 3 is giving me 28. So if you put this back in this equation in place of x, I can check like this. 5 times 5 is 25 plus 3 is 28. Okay. So let me make it a bit tricky. Say, yeah, you got 4x plus 1 is equal to 10. Okay. So, well, the same strategy, you cover this. So let me cover this. Highlight it and cover it. And say, ask the question, what plus 1 gives me 10? So, well, 9, this should be 9. 9 plus 1 gives me 10. So I can say 4x, this is 4 times x is 9. So I want to get rid of this 4. So well, I can divide this side by 4. If I divide this side by 4, I can divide this side by 4. So this 4 and 4 gets cancelled. So you always, not necessary, you get a neat number as your answer. So your x is nine quarters okay nine quarters is how many holes so nine quarters has got two holes and a quarter so x is two and one quarter this is two plus one quarter and if you want to write this as a decimal this is two plus point two five point two five so x is two point two five x is two point two five so as I told you, it's always good to check whether your answer is right. So let's do, so what are we saying? This equation, what is the meaning of this equation? The meaning of this equation is 4 times a number plus 1 is giving me 10. So let's check. So let's go 4 times 2 and a quarter or 2.25 plus 1. Okay. So let me delete this. What is 4 and 2 quarters? 
So this is, I want to do it without a calculator. So this is 2 plus quarter plus 1. So this is using the distributive property. So this is 4 times 2 plus 4 times a quarter times 4 times a quarter plus 1. Okay, so this becomes 4 times 2 is 8, and 4 lots of a quarter, 4 times quarter is 1. Uh, yeah, plus 1. Okay, so this is, sorry, this is not times, this is plus. This is plus. So this is 4 times 2 and 4 times quarter. So you're multiplying, this is a distributive property, 4 times half, 4 times 2 is 8, and 4 times quarter. So I'll write plus 1 here. So your this, your final answer is 10. So this way, you can check your answer. Okay, one more question. You got, say, 2, 3p plus 5 is equal to 4p minus 8. Okay, now this is a bit difficult question. So yeah, how can we simplify, how can we solve this? I want to, you to think in different ways. So this is three lots of P. So this is, can I write this as P plus P plus P? Okay, and this is plus phi is equal to P plus P plus P plus p. This is four lots of p. I just want to explore a different way of solving this. So yeah, this p, you got two, three p's will get cancelled. So this equation now becomes phi is equal to p minus 8. Or this can also be written as p minus 8 is equal to phi. So here you're asking the question, what Take away 8 gives you 5. So, well, 13 take away 8, 13 take away 8 is 5. So, I can write 13 here. So, that means your P should be 13. Okay, so let's make sense of the answer. So, what does this mean? This means 3 times P plus 5 is equal to 4 times p minus 8. So let's do without a calculator. 3 times 13 is, so let me do it here. Your left hand side is 3, LHS stands for left hand side. So this is 3 times 13 plus 5. So first you do multiply and then add. So this is 39 plus 5. 39 plus 5 is 44. Am I right? Yeah. And let's do the right hand side. So I'll do the right hand side here. Is 4 times 4 times 13 minus 8. So 2 times 13 is 26. So this is 52 take away 8, which is also 44. So you can give yourself a smiley face because you've checked your left-hand side is equal to your right-hand side. Right.